Every day, people upload sensitive documents like bank statements, contracts, and medical records to AI tools like ChatGPT or Gemini. What many don't realize is that these platforms may store and analyze your data to improve their models, potentially putting your private information at risk. But that doesn't mean you should stop using AI. It just means you need to be smart about what you share. The key is to sanitize your files, remove or redact any sensitive information before uploading. In this video, I'll show you how to use AI to quickly and securely redact private data so you can stay protected while still getting the insights you need. So I'll be using this bank statement for example. Now, a lot of people upload bank statements to ChatGPT and other chatbots to get help with their financials, uh, but you have to make sure that sensitive information like maybe your name, address, transaction amounts, all these details are removed. So I'm going to be showing you the steps that we need to follow in order to redact this document. So first we need to open the document in a redaction tool. Uh, after that we need to select the information that we want to redact. So all the sensitive information, namely name, account number, transaction history. Uh, and then we apply the redaction. It's really easy, okay? So for this example, I'm going to be using this tool, which is redactable, really easy to use tool. It uses AI to redact your documents. So you can see just like that, we have all our information redacted. Once you select your file, go ahead and click on upload. Once that's done, click on this arrow and then you'll have your document uploaded over here. Okay, click into it and then you can go ahead and redact it. So we'll take it through an OCR scan. Once that's done processing, you'll have your document over here. Now there's a lot of different things you can do, but the easiest thing if you don't have time on your hands and if you want the AI to uh, just redact on your behalf, you could go ahead and click on auto and then it's automatically going to show you the elements or the points that you can go ahead and then redact, okay? So once that's done, the AI is automatically going to give you these items that you should be redacting. You can also see it on the screen over here. Uh, so I'll go ahead and click on this. And then you see that it automatically gets checked, okay? All you have to do is click into these boxes and then that particular item is going to be redacted okay so we've selected quite a few over here i'll go ahead and click on redact 11 items and then you'll see the redaction has been applied okay if you want to view how it looks you click on this button over here and then you see this is how it's going to look okay now it's very simple to use as you saw the AI is going to help you find these items but you could also go ahead and use these different options over here so you can uh, you know manually redact you can also draw your redaction so if there's any if there's a particular item you want to redact go ahead and highlight it and just like that it's going to get redacted okay let me do this as well redacted okay i want to do this entire thing at once redacted okay so this is how easy it is to use this tool now once you're done with your redaction go ahead and click on finalize redaction and then you see it says congratulations you redacted uh, this page go ahead and click on download file for now and then you see that we have a document that has been redacted now of course you can customize this there's a lot of different options you have that you can use to redact so you can either use ai or you can also manually redact your documents it's totally up to you okay now you can try Redactable for free at the link in the description. That being said, let's go ahead and show you how you can get started with redacting your document. So this is the dashboard of whenever you log into Redactable, this is how it's going to look. You can also see your stats, how many documents you have, how many files you've uploaded, you know, the files that you've redacted, so on and so forth. Uh, and uh, you can very easily upload any file, make sure that it's a PDF file uh upload a pdf file and then you can get started with redacting okay so i'll go ahead and click on upload files and then you'll get a few different options so you, so you can upload your document directly from your pc or you can uh, use one of these different options now redacting has a lot of benefits and it's not uh, as simple as just covering maybe you could use canva or some other apps and then you could you know add add in a little layer that, that's not going to do it okay your um, information will still be 
and can be accessible to uh, the people. So if you see covering up, okay, is not very secure because uh, you simply place a black box shape or highlight over the text. The text is hidden. And it might still have the data underneath it. Okay, it also has metadata attached to it. Uh, but if you redact it, it's more secure because it completely removes sensitive information from the document. It ensures that data cannot be recovered by copying pasting or inspecting the document and it also removes the metadata okay so before you upload your files your personal information before you upload them to public portals or even ai chatbots you need to make sure that you have your personal information redacted so that cyber criminals and hackers cannot use your information against you you know you might randomly get calls and messages and side might seem very genuine because they have some information but then you, they could just use chat gpt to retrieve that information okay so you need to be very careful uh so just like i mentioned i'm going to be leaving a link to redactable in the description it's a wonderful tool really easy to use go ahead and get your hands on it thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one